Hey guys, I'm back. So today we are making a open wound on our foot. So the Sin Wax I'm using is from um, Miron. The reason why it's red is because I mixed it with blood, fake blood, a few months back and I just haven't been in my makeup in a while. So um, I haven't used it since the last time I touched it. So what I'm doing here is I'm just smoothing out with the spatula and then I end up going to Vaseline because it actually helps it not stick to your fingers, but it also helps smooth out the Sin Wax a lot better. Here we are making the skin for the outside of the wound. It has to look like there is skin still attached to it. Um, so yeah. So I made this skin on the sides too thick on accident. Um, so I ended up just taking one photo of it, uh, which will be at the end of the video. But make sure when you do this, you make your Sin Wax extremely thin um, so it looks more realistic in the end. So the bottom of the wound was looking a little empty, so I ended up taking some Sin Wax, rolling it up, smushing it out, and placing it on the bottom of the wound. I also blended it into my foot and the Sin Wax around um, the Sin Wax I just placed down. As I was smoothing it out, I realized that I wanted it to look like it was hanging off, I'm sorry, that the Sin Wax was hanging off um, of the bottom of the wound as if like it was just a piece of skin just hanging there. So I'm just smoothing down the sides. Um, I realized that I had a little bit of extra Sin Wax hanging out, so uh, I decided to try and s smooth it down as much as I could. Here I am powdering it. I feel like if I powder my Sin Wax, it will not only help the shine, but it will also keep it from being so sticky. I'm just applying a little bit of flexible sealer. It'll help keep the wound in place. Um, I mean, obviously if you, you know, try and take it off, it'll come off, but if you bump it, um, it won't really come off as easily as it would if you didn't have it on. Um, I powder it again because I realize there's a little bit of shine from the sealer. And uh, yeah, so it's looking pretty gross, right? taking Sin Wax and um, coloring it with yellow paint, I decided I wanted to make adipose tissue, um, also known as your fat tissue, that can just hang outside of the wound. Um, so literally just color your Sin Wax with yellow paint, make it into small little yellow balls and just place it on in there. Here is where I start painting the wound. I have my Krylon burn and injury wheel. Uh, I realized that halfway, or basically this entire painting process, my big old head was in the way, so I had to cut out mostly all of me coloring this wound, um, because if not, you would have just seen my hair, and uh, that's not very educational. So, I do apologize, uh, I'm an idiot sometimes, so. You know, life goes on. So I realized uh, that I made a mistake, so I had to use my concealer and I used some tissue to smooth it all out. 
Now it's time for the blood. So I just thought it'd be easier to dip my brush in there and just spread it all on out. But I realized that that wasn't the case. And then I realized that it needed some more color. So I broke out my eyeshadow palette and uh, ended up coloring around the wound. Made it look a little bit more irritated than it, than it already was. This is the final step, just add some more blood and you're good to go. But that's it, I have nothing else for you guys today. There will be a picture of the wound and the products that I used at the end of the video. I hope you learned something, I hope you liked my look. If you recreate it, please let me know in the comments. Till then, I'll see you next time. Bye!